morning guys welcome back to the vlog today is december 22nd which means there's three days until christmas absolutely insane i feel like the last three weeks have gone by so freaking fast i cannot even explain but i've also done so much in the last three weeks which has been really good but i do have a busy day ahead mostly things that i have to get done at home i don't know if i'm gonna be going out at all today but i'm gonna try and run to the store hopefully I am finished with my Christmas shopping, which is very good. I've never put it off this late. I did finish shopping like maybe two, three days ago. So I'm just waiting for a few things to come in the mail. They should be here today or tomorrow, but I have wrapped not a single present yet. So that is something I definitely need to work on a bit today. I can probably do some tomorrow as well, but I wanna try and tackle as much as I can. I need to edit a video and I need to try and get some ingredients because my parents and I are gonna do like a cocktail competition. I've seen these all over TikTok and I've always wanted to do them. So I thought that this would be fun for us especially because we might have to change our Christmas Eve plans. We're supposed to be getting a huge storm tomorrow. And if that is the case, then nobody can make it to our house on Saturday because we'll have too much snow. So I thought the Christmas cocktail competition would be like a fun little activity for us to do. And I kind of want to run to five below to maybe get like a puzzle or some kind of board game for us to play if that is the case. I've just been doing admin work this morning, but I really do want to work out. I'm still in my jammies and it's like 10 o'clock. So let's put these on. Alrighty, clothes are on. So I've got my new sports bra from Halara. I'm obsessed. The back is like so cute. And it's a really pretty periwinkle color. And then I have my Lulu shorts. They're like hiking shorts, I think they call them. But I love to work out in them. So definitely can't wear this outside because there's snow, but indoors is fine <laughs> just gonna work out in my basement i'm in my basement it's not aesthetic looking it's not finished and that's totally fine <laughs> pretty much a space for storage and we have weights down here so it's a good place for us to work out if we want to stay like i don't have a gym membership right now because i'm never home long enough but my parents do so yeah what i think i want to do today is jump rope i actually forgot that i had a jump rope i just like completely forgot to pack it last contract and i've been really into like switching up my workouts so i think i'm gonna do maybe 20 25 minutes of jumping rope and then maybe a little bit of weights and abs or maybe a pull this video i haven't decided yet we will see what happens but we're gonna get the jams on i think i'm gonna put on big booty mix because i have not listened to that in ages i'm a huge big booty mix fan so that's what we're gonna play and we're gonna get going <laughs> We're gonna go with 22. Transmission received. back we're showered freshened up i threw a little bit of makeup on and we are ready to tackle the day i feel like i'm always more productive when i'm put together at least somewhat and i might not even be leaving the house today but it still helps you know and i always feel better when i have a cute cute little outfit going on so i just have this little set from princess polly i showed it in the recent haul i don't know what's happening with this piece right here I didn't wash my hair i just threw some dry shampoo in it and yeah that, that's that's all i've got to say about that i want to have some lunch i'm honestly not that hungry but it's it's lunchtime 
So I might make another coffee. My parents just went grocery shopping, which means there's a full, full fridge food, which is always, it's always good. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit stuck here. Do I have avocado? That's the question. The thing I worry about is I don't want to eat anything that my parents are planning on using for Christmas. So I don't know like what's off limits here. I'm gonna start with some hummus and everything bagel crackers because that's like a good little snack. I have a yogurt here. That'll do. Got a little bit of granola. And then these are the best crackers ever. If you've never had them, run to Trader Joe's if you can. I'm telling you guys, this combo, iconic. Completely iconic. I know this isn't like a lunch, but I like to snack when I think about what I'm eating or what I'm going to eat, should I say. I need to start editing because I have a vlog going up tomorrow that I haven't even started yet. So that's like the main thing I need to get done today. Little life update though that I'm excited to share. I actually coached yesterday. I've been coaching here and there when I'm home in between contracts, but nothing too crazy. I usually just work with like one of the girls and choreograph her program. But yesterday I worked with a bunch of different kids, which was really fun and actually so fulfilling. Like I never thought that I would enjoy coaching as much as I do. Obviously it's something that I always have had in the back of my head to do once I'm done performing or even just like in between contracts, but I have been loving it. It was so much fun yesterday and I actually coached at two, two different rinks. One of the rinks I coached at was in Jamestown and I grew up training there when I was younger. So it was really like full circle moment to be back coaching instead of training. And yeah, that was really fun. And then on the way home, we stopped at Tim Hortons for food because we were starving, my mom and I. And I have not had the broccoli cheddar soup from Tim Hortons or Panera anywhere for that matter in years. And it slapped so hard. Like it was exactly what I needed after a long day and being cold and yeah, nice little day I had. Um, and that's my spiel. Hello, um, it's been a couple hours. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have been glued to my laptop editing. I don't know why it takes me so long to edit a video. I genuinely think it's because I have so much footage that it just takes ages to do the rough cuts. And then once the rough cuts are done, like all the other stuff goes so fast. But anyways, none of you care. I finished editing the vlog, I exported it, now it's uploading to YouTube. So hopefully tomorrow it'll be ready to go. Or not hopefully, it has to. It will be. But it is almost five o'clock and that is pretty much all I have done this afternoon. I still have a lot of things I want to accomplish. I do need to run to the liquor store and pick up some alcohol for the Christmas cocktail competition. Still haven't finalized which cocktail I'm gonna make, but I'll have to figure that out now. And then I wanna run a five below because we're supposed to get a huge snowstorm, like I said. If we get stuck inside, I want things to be able to do. So like a card game or a board game might be fun. We don't really have many in the house. So those are my um, errands to run today. You know what I could do? I could watch Emily in Paris season three came out and I have not, I haven't watched it yet. So that might be an option for us. It's not very Christmassy, but that's okay. Oh, and I have to wrap. That's what I do have to do. When I come back from errands, I have to wrap my presents. My brain is all over the place. Always. What else is new? stores in shambles and half of the aisles are empty thank you 
that was literally the most chaotic five below I've ever been into. Was it because it's three days before Christmas? Probably. Was it because we're supposed to get a snowstorm tomorrow? Also very likely. So there was just craziness. But I got what I needed. I'll give you a haul when we get back. For now, I'm going to try and get out of this insane parking lot because I just... I'm going to need my full, full, full attention for this because it's just... It's madness. So, glasses on. Vibes are high. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, baby. I've made it home in one piece, believe it or not. The traffic outside was crazy. Like, every single street, just full of cars. It was also rush hour and also it's three days before Christmas. A lot of the stores were actually closing tomorrow for the storm. We're supposed to start getting snow at like 7 a.m. tomorrow. So that's probably why. But anyways, I digress. I got everything that I needed. I stopped at the liquor store and I got what I need for my little Christmas cocktail. And I had to stop at the store next door. It was just like a beverage store. So I got like the little mix-ins I need, but I'm not gonna tell you what I got or what I'm making because that'll be for Christmas Eve. Um, so it'll be a bit of a surprise for you. And then I got quite a few things from Five Below. I always get a little carried away. The store was so picked over. I think everyone was just going crazy for like Christmas gifts, I guess. I don't know, but there was a billion people in there and there was a lot of stuff just all over the place. We got what we needed, so first thing, I got candy canes. Unpopular opinion, but I don't I don't really like candy canes if they're just traditional peppermint, but these ones are airheads, so they're gonna taste really good. The reason I went to Five Below was to get some kind of game for my parents and I to play. I did get a little carried away, so I got three options. First, a classic, Uno. I'll definitely bring that with me on my next contract, because it's like super small and easy to pack. And then I got, ooh, Whoops. I got two little box games. This one's Family Feud. And then this is called Twisted Texts. So basically it's like text and then you have to submit your like reply to it. Those are the games. And then I got a gingerbread making kit. Well, I got two of them, but I thought this would be something fun to do. I haven't made one this season, so we can also do that. And they were only $5. And then the last two things were kind of impulsive I guess but I will use both so first thing I got I found these fine tip watercolor pens I love to write in my journal color coat everything to draw so I thought you know why not and then this was a good find I got a 20 pocket over the hanger shoe rack so I mentioned before but I left my other one on Voyager just because I had no space left it served me well for two contracts, so I left that there. This was only $5, so I thought I can bring that for Wonder. And that's everything. So, we're just waiting on a pizza to arrive, and then Dad and I are gonna have a slice. My mom's out working, so it's just the two of us. And then I do need to wrap this evening. He's back with the za. Hello, folks. Ooh, I like this box. Yum. Wow, that Hi. looks phenomenal. Hi. I'm so excited. This looks so good. I'm trying out one of my candy canes I bought, the Airhead ones. This is the cherry flavor and it's so good. I've already eaten off the top, if you can't tell. Anyways, I'm in what used to be my brother's bedroom when he lived here forever ago. Hence why there's still that and that on the wall. I'm in here because this is where I work out usually, but for the Christmas season, it's been the Christmas storage center. <laughs> so all of the presents are in here and I need to do some wrapping. So I have so many things I need to wrap. It's not even funny. Tomorrow is probably going to be a snow day. Everything is already closed down. So I have time to wrap tomorrow. 
but I want to get a, a head start. There's my cutesy spin bike. This is all of my stuff that I need to wrap. I've got five bags of many things and then two packages. So we're gonna, we're gonna start that. As I said, I'm surrounded by presents. And then this is the little wrapping area, if you will. Here's the wrapping paper we're working with. It says, Dear Santa, or from Santa? From Santa. We got it from Walgreens. No, Rite Aid. Same difference. We're already getting kind of low on the roll and I haven't even started my wrapping yet. So I really, really, really hope we don't run out of um, wrapping paper because then I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I gotta be honest with you. I am not the best wrapper. It's, it's not my forte. It's not my strong suit. I try to pretend that it is and it's just, it's not. So I have to accept it for what it is, you know? I'm gonna try my best, but these probably won't won't look amazing. Not the most gorgeous wrap job you've ever had. I've got to open this box. This just came in the mail today. Cute. I swear this is broken. Are you kidding me? We're off to a good start. First present I was about to wrap is broken inside the box. <sighs> Great, good stuff. Really, really good stuff. That one was for my mom. Hmm, all right. Mm. All right. Well, gonna have to exchange that. That one's from Amazon. This is like completely shattered, completely. Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. done my whole nighttime routine skincare brush my teeth the whole nine yards and I think to end the night off I want to read my book on my kindle I'm starting to read rich dad poor dad basically Callum and I are going to read a chapter he's already read the book but we're going to read a chapter together and then we're going to discuss next chapter and so on so far I really like the book so I feel like that's a nice way to relax before sleeping I was doing this a lot on the ship I was reading before bed but I've been so busy with editing that I just edit until I pass out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. I cannot believe Christmas is almost here. I am so excited. I'm really hoping that the weather cooperates so that I can see my family on Christmas because usually I'm never home. So that would be really, really ironic. But we will see. I'll be vlogging Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So you'll see what we get up to. And I do need to wrap more presents, but that's a problem for tomorrow. But Love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.